by the man that can. He Neil Pearson, what's going on? Hi, Adam Pearson, and um, we're playing UFC 2 this morning. We are. Now, talk, talk us through this, Neil, because I thought you'd hate this game. When you bought it, I generally thought you'd play it, not like it, then I'd get to keep it. Okay, so this is the career mode, and we're in the tra um, three training sessions, though sometimes for injury reasons it does get reduced to and I prior to your fight. Being held together with sticky wrap plastic and cocaine, right? Um, no, he's not actually. He's relatively fresh. He's low on injury. Point your legs completely messed up. Um, in one fight, I did get them injured, yeah, but they're covered now and they're back and running properly. Brilliant. And I tried too hard on one of the training sessions and damaged one of my hands. Okay. In the game, not in real life. Yeah, yeah. Just for the you, record. You've never tried, Just for the record. You've never tried too hard at anything in real life. Ow! You've already started hitting me. What the hell? Just check the screen's working. Okay, advance to fight. Yep, screen's and working. We're only slightly behind. Okay, and I'm on the undercard. You're on the undercard? Yeah. Okay. And what's the plan? Um, plan is to go in there, start with jabs and then throw big ones towards the end of the round. Okay. If you rock him like really early on, will you then just start swinging bombs? If I do, yes, but I don't want to run out of stamina and then have no defense on the counter attack. Okay. So here we go. And we're live streaming this, this is like raw, unedited footage. Because I got I got no time to edit this shit. Okay. So this is nothing like the Jeremy Kyle show. Nothing like the Jeremy Kyle show. Please stop bringing that up. <laughs> it was five years ago. And it's your favourite thing ever. And it makes you feel good about yourself watching people worse than you on TV. Right, pick colour. Done. Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Iceman and Big Train. Why Big Train? Middleweight boxer. Wasn't sport for choice on the things. I've already got a um boxer called Shotgun. So. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trunks for Big Train. Black trunks for Iceman. Joe, this is a tough fight for him. In fact, you can argue that this is the toughest fight of his professional career. He realizes, though, if he's able to get a win tonight, he will move up in the rankings. But man, he's going to be changed. Big Train with a good straight left. They have started this fight off with a brawl. Good right left combo, though. For the brawl, Neil. Come on, swing. With a nice straight to the body. He continues to score with his strikes. Strong knee to the body by Iceman. Uh oh, turn the sense. You do not want to be here. That's a powerful knee. And they break free. Adams gets caught by the uppercut. Nice side side kick there. Yeah. Tags him. Joe, he's landing at will. He's hurt. Nice counter with the straight. He caught him with the head kick. 
Big straight punch. Vicious combination. Oh, solid jab. Combination. They battle in the clinch. Okay, it's right. Position. Nicely timed straight. He's doing a great job of timing these shots. Tagged him. Joe, there's another shot to that cup that occurred earlier in the fight, and now it's really wide open. Yeah, he keeps tagging him right on that same spot. Nice shot. Oh, big shots. Great exchanges. 90 seconds. Good jab. Trying to get a single. Grab the leg, completes the takedown. And he winds up on top. Nice sweep. He's a full guard. Man, he's being tested, but he's back up. Boom, right on the button. Oh my god! Okay, so in the first round, and that's the opponent with blood on his back, and on his face, and on his chest. <sighs> and you're in the white trunks, correct? Yeah. No. Oh, that didn't look like a leg kick. <laughs> That looked like a, a really kick. kick. So round two. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two. Joe, looking back at that last round, Ice Dance had his way with his opponent. Yeah, he had his way in that round. Clearly a dominant round. Good hands, really mixing things up. Man, he has landed so much damage that both of his eyes have started to swell now. Vicious shots the body. Delivered that right to the midsection of his opponent. Big trade with another shot the body. Look at that. Take downs landed so far in our fight. I bet that's Matthew online. Yeah, it might be, I don't know. Hello online person, we don't have the chat enabled, but thank you for joining us. Apologies for your sniffing into this very sensitive microphone. Big combination. 
Go to the tent now. This is the tent most tent fight you've had. That was a weird way to end. That, that <laughs> yeah, that does look slightly juvenile. It looks slightly primal. What a great round this fight is really shaking. Okay, final round, Neil. You're gonna go for a decision, or you're gonna go for a knockout? Five minutes remains in the fight. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's gonna to want to start this round. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. Hit him! Why are you hitting him? What? Hey. Stop. That is you, right? Yeah. Hey. Boom. Hey. How do you like me now? <laughs> Boom, and he's down. And then when they're down, you start mounting. Oh. Boom! Then he mounts him like a hooker. Boom! And then he's out. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen. by knockout. <laughs> Seven fights undefeated. What, what? Seven fights unbeaten. What, what? What, what? What, what? What, what? What, what? What, what? Ah. Do we have any sponsors for this event, Neil? Has anyone sponsored this event at all? No, no one has sponsored this event. Okay. Should we give a shout out to the microphone that we're using? This is being made with a blue Yeti. Blue microphones, they're not blue. This one's silver. I'm promoting a game endorsed by EA Sports. It's EA in Sports. It's in the game. And if we look at the cover for this game, we will see Conor McGregor and Ronda Rousey, both of whom lost their last fights. Seems to be the curse of being on an EA game cover. NHL guy might be a rapist, that's neither here nor there. Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, yep. I reckon his wife was his golf coach, because the minute she left, he got really, really bad. What, swinging? Well, no, he was quite good at swinging, that's why he was in trouble. But just terrible at golf. To all our overseas viewers, it's a bank holiday here in the UK, hence me and your aunt at work. And I do have work to do later. Happy bags. He's on heavy bag legs. I'm gonna start kicking him in the face. 
<coughs> no, it's just I don't see the point in doing heavy bag hands because he's already got powerful enough hands. Yeah, yeah. So you can start kicking people in the face. Mm. Oh, that was a yawn, just in case we're wondering on the on the audio. So how much do you actually know about the UFC now? Absolutely fuck all. Who are your favourite UFC fighters? Give me your five favourites. My five favourite UFC fighters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Okay. Triple H. Uh-huh. Owen Hart. Right. Kane. Okay. An X pack Okay. Where should we start going through the problems with your list? I know there's plenty of problems. At least one of them is dead. Yeah. One of them's probably in prison now. Yeah. All of them are WWE fighters. Wrestlers. They're not Wrestlers. even. They're not even real fighters. Sorry, actors. Yes. Athletes with drama degrees. So, so you've got the wrong, wrong industry. Mm-hmm. One of them isn't even alive. One of them's got like severe dependency issues. One of them's like knees are made of chewing gum and the tears of children. Any children or Jimmy Savile's children? Well, why do you think they're crying? Yeah. Why do you think the tears came from? Anyway, next fight. <clears throat> Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Ilgamar Alcantara and Big Train. Okay, Ilgamar Alcantara. Ilgamar Alcantara, Big Train. And here we go. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trucks for Big Train. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Nice tip. Alcantara with a kick to the body. They're going after it quick here. Can I ask the obvious question? Ah, uh, Joe, we can see the game plan. Punish there we go. So you're a bomb for his kicking. To quote the hurricane. What's up with that? He blocks the punch. <laughs> Snapping that jab. Nice strike. Good body shot with the knee. Nice shot. <laughs> okay, and no, I'm and down. 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 Shit. It's okay, you can get back up. Punch him on the floor. There's the jab. Joe, that's a solid leg kick by Alcantara. Good combination. Beautiful right hand. Keep him busy. Just over two on the clock. And that jab really effective. Really good job of winning that series of punches. Nice elbow, good knee. Adams with some solid knees. Brutal knees, and again. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Ah, that's a picture perfect trip for the takedown. Alcantara got taken by that right. He's moved back into side control. And side control, I need to get back up again. Um, no. Nope. 
Look at that. How good is that? Uh oh. Adams with the left. Look at that eye, man. That is a mess. Nice punch by Adams. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. <clears throat> and the round, if you get in there, if you hold down the shoulder button, it'll bring up the other options. Yeah. And you'll be able to choke him out. I can't get your submission skills. You probably haven't worked on him. No. Well, boxers tend not to have submission skills, do they? They also tend not to kick. Speaking of boxers, what's your opinion on Mr. Tyson Fury? He's really doing a good job as a boxer or as a person? Let's start with the boxer and then move on to the... Big train gets hit with that inside leg kick. Look at that. Takedowns landed so far in our fight. That's outstanding. Doing a good job timing his shots here and landing a great series of punches. As a boxer, I think he's good. Otherwise, he wouldn't have won the world title fight. I think he's a little bit outspoken though. Can you be more specific? Don't be afraid of the word homophobe. He doesn't look very clever. No, my fight doesn't look too good either, though. No, no, no. Final round. I go for knockout. You've been taken down quite a lot. <coughs> Problem is, I'm low on stamina, so I'm going to have to go for it on um, quantity rather than hard hits. Oh, 
Why won't this bugger go down? He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Alcantara gets caught by the inside leg kick. He sees that coming and carries it away. Looking for the single, and he gets it. Big train with a punch that connects. And back up. Good connection with the straight by Big Train. <coughs> he scores with the knee. Both men exchange it. Oh, double jab. He continues to connect with those punches. And there's a nice straight by Alcantara. Alcantara's eyes are both starting to swell up. Big Train's aware that he is behind on the judges' scoreboard. So he's going to look for the finish any way he can. He's got to either get a submission or get the knockout because he's not going to get a decision. Man, consistent use of the jab. I'm oh! 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 If you smell again, wrong sport, sport. wrong sport, wrong sport. Goal! Like, you might as well be shouting touchdown. Check it out again. No. By the way, just in case you're watching, Henry Lawrence, don't try this at home. Do you try this at home? This has been the Hammer, Adam Pearson, alongside Neil Pearson. How have you found your first live stream, Neil? Cool. Anything you want to say before we go? Yeah, too late. This is no, too late.